All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Kudabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Kerbal Research and Development mod, which was originally made by form user MM. It's now been resurrected by Linux Guru Gamer. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is the ability to actually use your science points to upgrade your parts to make your ships even better. And I love this mod. As a big complaint I've had about the career and science modes of this game for years is that once you unlock all the parts, there's really no reason to collect science anymore. But with this installed, you do because, well, you can make those parts better. So let's uh, jump into the space plane hangar and see how this all works. Before we do though, there are of course some dependencies you're gonna need to download. Those being the toolbar controller, the click-through blocker, and the space tux library. Now with all of those in there, it's a pretty simple task to upgrade your parts. All you need to do is go down to this new little R&D button and open up the UI and it just gives you your instructions right away select a part to improve. So say we go to this Rovemate probe core, and there you go, we can upgrade this part. Now as for what all we're seeing here, basically we have of course the name of the part up top. These buttons here are the things that we can upgrade. So on this particular piece, it's the dry mass, the max temp, and the battery storage capacity all quite nice. Now on this panel here is the current stats for all of those potential upgrades. And then this window is what it will become once we do upgrade it. So for dry mass, we're going to take this ship, or well rather this one part, from 0.15 tons and make it 0.135 tons, making it lighter and then much better and more efficient for the rest of your craft. And that is wonderful. Now down here in the corner, that is going to be the cost of what it's going to take to upgrade. So in this case, two science points. And this amount is going to depend on not just what level of upgrade you're at, but what the upgrade is. For instance, you know, reducing the dry mass is one thing, but increasing the max temp takes a bit more research. And so that's going to take five points to get it up to a level one upgrade. Battery, though, not so hard again, so it's back down to two. So the various upgrades have a varying cost depending on what it is and what level. And as you go up in level, it gets increasingly higher at the point cost, which keeps you motivated to continue going out there and getting science. It gives you a reason to do it in the late game, and I love that. And then once you are ready to make your upgrade, you just simply hit the research button, and look at that. That part is now 0.135 tons, and we can further upgrade it to 0.12. Boom, there we go. We now have a level 2 version of this and it's wonderful i really really do like this as you can make all of your parts much better now as for what all you can improve it's a pretty decent list you can decrease the dry mass of all parts as you saw here you can also improve the fuel efficiency of engines increase the max thrust of engines and thrusters the torque of reaction wheels the charge rate of solar panels the crash tolerance of landing legs the battery capacity, efficiency of generators, efficiency of resource converters, the safe deployment speed of parachutes, I really love that one because I tend to uh, come in a bit too fast, the maximum internal and skimp temperature of all parts, and of course the capacity of fuel tanks. So if we do pop out a fuel tank here, such as this Mark Zero, now by default this one holds just a mere to, uh, mere 50 liquid fuel, but we can, oh wait, no, I'm looking at the, there we go, I need to go down there, we can improve it to be 53, or up to 55 then 58 and you can see the uh, science points just keep on increasing here and now at level four of fuel pressure well there we go we have uh, a 60 liquid fuel there for us to use in this small tank 
And that is just so cool. By the time you're way into late game and have a ton of extra science points to spend, you can really improve your ships. Now let's actually open up a rover that I was making earlier to show off another one of the features. And let's say, well, we want to increase the battery power there. Well, of course, we just need to go to the Z100 battery and just simply research 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 and there we go these batteries can now hold 200 electric charge and i love that we don't need that part anymore and let's go to launch this thing to show off that this mod isn't just tracking the upgrade of the parts but also what upgrades are on each vessel. So I've already got one of these rovers that I placed in the world earlier over here, which was of course launched prior to upgrading our lovely batteries up to 200 electric charge. So if we go and uh, drive over here and then switch over to that original rover, well, look at that. Its batteries are still only holding a hundred, which is very good because it just makes sense. Any ships that are already out there in the world, well, they're not going to be upgraded. So if you do want to make them better, you're going to have to bring them back to the planet and, well, collect them and then relaunch them for a new mission. And I just love that, that it is tracking it not just by the part, but also by the vessel. It's just cool. So you could have floating out there satellites that are way old and poor technology on them, and then a new uh, ship comes by to collect them with all the best tech. It's just fun and a very interesting idea for me in terms of the uh, immersion in the game. And overall, this is just a cool mod to be able to use your science points for more than just unlocking parts. Now you can make them all better. So if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, you have a good one.